how can I help? Think about the power of it. At the center of it is I. And I brings to mind two things. Identity. Who am I? What am I about? What do I have to offer? And secondly, agency. What am I here for? What is my role? Having I at the center of a slogan is not a bad thing. Help, of course, seems one way, doesn't it? I'm assisting you. But we all know a truth about that word. It's quite mutual. The premise of the question, how can I help, suggests you then asking me the same question. So help has in it a connectedness, a way to build trust. Can, in the, world of, in the words of William James, it offers infinite possibilities. Can, many ways to do it. And then how, that transforms the whole thing into analytics. What's the best way to do it? The most cost effective, we're economists in charge. How can I help? It's a beautiful phrase. And if somebody knows of a culture, or a country, or a region, or even a time where it doesn't work, let me know about it. There's probably one or two. But I think it's a universal sentiment. And it makes us feel right about ourselves, about our intention, about who we are, about what we're doing here in this blessed unrest about what we intend to do. How can I help? One might critique this slogan and say that it's passive. There's a milk toast aspect to it. That's totally wrong, I believe. I think how can I help in many ways is a very aggressive, demanding question. Because not only does it ask you to ask the same, I expect you to ask me, how can I help? But it also works at a higher level, one that was suggested by Professor Barber. We should demand that our leaders are asking, how can I help? Our political leaders, our business leaders, our academic leaders, name the institution. The professor's right. These are collective goods problems, public goods. And these institutions at their core are designed to help. Not in every way. Markets can do a little bit of that, but not all of it. But in essence, at their best, our institutions are designed to help. And I can imagine no better way in the setting where I live now, at a Vermont town meeting, at a state, at a county fair, I can imagine no better way to engage a politician than to walk up to her and say, hey, how are you helping? Because I'm certainly helping my community. And notice. Think about the work you're doing now, the work of 350.org. Many of you saw the announcement yesterday. There'll be a day of work on 10, 10, 10. The transition communities, the great work of David. Look around you. These are people who are asking, how can I help? Not in a milquetoast way, but in a forceful, aggressive, demanding way. The one hand that brings in, but the one hand that opposes those who don't have that sentiment in their own words and actions. How can I help? I'll finish with that offer to each of you. How can I help? And I'll say that it's actually very selfish. That question has served me very well as I have walked through my professional and personal life lately, working with Jesse and now Rebecca and Billy, the list goes on and many wonderful people who are not here with us, but are in many ways. Bill McKibben, Betsy Taylor, they come to mind. I genuinely would like to say to you, how can I help? And I expect you to ask the same. But most importantly, I hope you'll consider this as a candidate for our slogan. Tell me what's wrong with it. Let's play with it. And I'll note, in closing that it, le it leads to a related question, in some ways the same question, but a question of equal if not more power. How can we help? <laughs>